Well, hello, this is Ladies Outdoor today. Today I am going to show you how to make summer sausages. As you all might know, right now I am a hunter, right? So I got a moose and I am going to make summer sausages. First of all, we are going to use 10 pounds of meat. Okay, I am going to mix two-thirds wild meat. You can use uh, beef or whatever, ground beef. But I am mixing 10 pounds, two-thirds of wild meat, and one-third of pork meat. So here are the ingredients that I am going to be using. As you can see, I have displayed all the ingredients that I will need for this summer sausages today. So first of all, I am going to be using six tablespoons of pickling salt, okay? Six tablespoons of pickling salt, and it's right here. I am going to use a knife so I don't stab you. You have to make sure everything is mixed accordingly to the recipe, okay? I know it will take forever, but you have to take your time because you cannot mix that. That's three. tablespoon of pickling salt. Now, next I am going to mix with this salt uh, one quarter cup of dextrose. Dextrose, one quarter cup, okay? This is one quarter cup of dextrose. Make sure it's all like fine and ready to use. So we, we need one quarter cup. Put it in here. Next will be one tablespoon freshly ground pepper. So this is the freshly ground pepper I have here. So I need one tablespoon of ground pe pepper. This is my tablespoon. Ground pepper. There we go. Next will be one tablespoon of coriander. So this is my coriander and I need one tablespoon. So we put one tablespoon coriander now, here. Next will be <clears throat> uh, one tablespoon ground ginger. This is my ginger here, oh, no, right here. My ginger. Oh, right here. One tablespoon ginger. Okay, let me read it again. One tablespoon ginger. Okay, one tablespoon ginger. Put it in there. Next we need one teaspoon dry mustard. One teaspoon dry mustard. One teaspoon dry mustard. This is the mustard here, ground. Okay, then we'll need 
one teaspoon garlic powder. So garlic, this is my garlic powder and we need one teaspoon. already all the ingredients that we need for our summer sausages. We also going to add, if you want, you can add some um, mustard seeds, though, you know, and for every five pounds you add one tablespoon. So in this case I have eight pounds of meat, I'll add one tablespoon mustard seeds. Now, I have all the ingredients that call for the 10 pounds of meat and I am going to pour one cup of water in this big mixer here and what I am going to do, I am going to pour all my ingredients in this one cup of water and I'm going to try to mix it. This way all the ingredients, mostly the salt, will dissolve. So far we have put all our ingredients here and we're going to let it rest here for a couple of minutes until they dissolve. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot one of the most important ingredients. I have to let you know that I forgot to put the cure because I will be smoking this some sausages and as you can see I already got all my ingredients dissolving. So for 10 pounds of meat you will need two teaspoons of cure. Okay? And we're gonna mix it and put it right in the water right now so it'll help dissolving. So there we go. And we're gonna mix it here. Now while I, uh, I am waiting for the salt and the ingredients to dissolve here, so you have to let it, you know, to dissolve really good. I got my cases here. This is about maybe five pounds uh, casing per casing, five pounds of meat. So what I do is I soak it in water. It doesn't have to be, you know, like cold or hot water, just room temperature water. You have to soak them in water so they get soft. So you see the difference, totally different. So you soak them in water for a little while there until they get softened and that way your meat won't stick to the, to the casing when they're done, when they're cooked. So that's what I am doing, just waiting for the seasoning to dissolve. Well, here I am. I waited a few minutes for my salt and my ingredients to dissolve for a little bit. So now, like I said before, I have two thirds of moose meat. This time I am using moose. And I, I have one third of pork. So what I am going to do, I am going to mix all my meat here. Make sure your hands are clean so you don't um, end up uh, with uh, bacteria or whatever. So, so I mix all my meat here. It's really good. Moose and pork. That's all it is here. So then once you mix your pork and your moose meat, really really good, then you put your ingredients that I you already have the salt, okay? You can also do this to Put all your ingredients in now. Put a little bit and mix for a little bit more. It's really cold. That is really good. So now just to clean this up a little bit to get all my ingredients out of here. Just put a little bit more water and try to put it in there to 
Don't worry about it if you end up with the salt like that because sometimes it doesn't dissolve all through. Just keep on mixing. Keep on mixing this meat. So then after it's all mixed, you're gonna let it rest for a couple hours. Some people can leave it uh, 24 hours overnight, but I make mine and I just leave it a couple hours and it's good too, it tastes good. So it says for now. Three. Okay, now I have mixed all the meat and all the ingredients and that's almost the final result. I am going to show you how you stuff those casings, the meat into the casings. So if you follow me here, I will show you how we're going to do this. Now, this one is done. I am going to show you the way you have to fill it up. You have to leave some space in between the meat and the top of the casing because you cannot fill it up all the way up. Because you need to fold it this way when you're done and Wrap it in a way that no air will get through there, okay? Just do exactly what is done at the end here. Do that at the, at the top here too. Now we're gonna put this one here with the other ones. Five down. So, Okay, um, I am really lucky today making my summer sausages this winter because we just have a little break uh, on the weather. It is so nice today outside. What I have done, after I show you how we mix the ingredients 
and how we mix the ingredients with the meat. So what I have done, I also show you on my video how you put this salami uh, into the casing, okay? So now the most difficult step is, well, after I uh, stuff the salami, I sterilize a needle. You do need a needle, sterilize really good because what happened is the casing, the salami, once you stuff it, you can see it and it have air pockets in it. So you just poke those little air pockets that you can see in your salami and the casing once it's stuffed, then you get rid of those uh, air pockets with the sterilized needle. Once you have done that, then what you do is you get your smoker ready at a temperature of 130 Fahrenheit. That's what you need, 130 Fahrenheit. So then once the smoker is ready at 130, what you do is you bring, so it's, um, I have already hanging here. So what you do is you bring your salami and you hang it in those little, little things in here. If you can observe, that's how I hang it into my smoker. Then when they're hanging there for half hour, you have to make sure that they hang there for half hour, but they are dry on the outside. So uh, on a way that when you touch them, you know, you can feel that it's dry on the outside. Once you notice that they're dry on the outside, the next step is you have to put some hickory chips into your burner here at the bottom. You put a little bit of hickory chip there, okay? So that's what you do. Get them dry for half an hour, put your hickory chip there. But once you have done that, you have to bring your smoker to 150 Fahrenheit, okay, Fahrenheit. So then, when you bring it to 150 Fahrenheit, I will show you here. Your temperature has to be 150. It dropped down a little bit because I opened the door. So your thermometer has to be 150. You leave it for one hour, okay? 150, one hour. Then once you got it there for one hour, what you do is you have to put that temperature again inside your smoker to 162. Okay, once it's at 162, then you get them to cook. So they smoke anytime from five to eight to 10 hours. It just depends how cold the weather is or how good your smoker is. So I am going to show you how I have the first batch out of here. I'm gonna just grab this. And I'm going to show you how you cool down this, this sausages once you get them out of the smoker here. Okay, so I am really lucky here where I live. I have snow here. So what I do is, once I take them out of the smoker that they're done, anytime from 5 to 10 hours, just depend, like I said, on the smoker that you have, then I throw them in here in the snow. So that way they can dry faster. They can get cool. You know, you gotta bring it to a cool temperature once they're done. So these are already done, and they being outside here in the snow. If you don't have snow where you live, what you can do is just run cold water. You're putting in the sink and run cold water. So here is the first batch is done. My mousse sausages. Summer mousse sausages. So. Oh, it's heavy. Enjoy! Now, my summer sausages are done. Now I am going to walk you through how I, I did cut this. Just want to see the final result. Okay. Okay, I just, let's see if I can cut this first a little bit here. See? See how it comes off and your meat doesn't stick to the, to the casing. See it nice and clear. That's why you have to make sure you put it in 
water before you stop them, okay? So I'm gonna turn it this way, look. This is this final result of my summer sausages, mousse summer sausages. My knife, it doesn't smell really good, but this is your summer sausage. Whoops. Mmm, it's not all good.